Hey there you guys, John Allen here. Yes, today is a special day. On this date, July 17th, 60 years ago, a magical kingdom was born. Disneyland. And before I get too far into this, I am going to read to you guys the dedication speech that Walt Disney himself said on opening day, July 17th, 1955. You can actually see the plaque at the flagpole. <clears throat> to all who come to this happy place, welcome. Disneyland is your land. Here age relives fond memories of the past, and here youth may savor the challenge and promise of the future. Disneyland is dedicated to the, to the ideals, the dreams, and the hard facts that have created America, with the hope that it will be a source of joy and inspiration to all the world. There you go. I read it off the website to make sure I didn't mess up. I kind of did a little bit. Sorry about that. But yes, <coughs> 60 years ago today, Disneyland opened to the general public. First couple of days were a little bit rocky. Ran out of water. Uh, new asphalt causing women's shoes to get stuck. Um, there was a gas leak causing half the park to close. But you know what? It prevailed. And guess what? Disneyland's still here to this day. Not only that, but we have Disney Cowboy Adventure and Downtown Disney. And later on in the 70s, we have Walt Disney World. Later on, Disneyland Paris, Disneyland Hong Kong Disneyland, and then Disney Seas, and then the Disney Cruise Lines. And now pretty soon, next year, spring of next year, I think it was, uh, that's going to be open, Shanghai Disneyland. Yeah. Quite an amazing legacy the original Disneyland has had. And it's had such a huge impact on people's lives. It's unbelievable. A lot of people from Hollywood have gotten their start there. One of them in particular, Steve Martin, on the Magic Shop. Um, he also, got his, he also uh, got his acting career started at Knott's Berry Farm and the Birdcage Theater. Go look that one up. <laughs> um, but yes... Uh, there have been a few Hollywood stars that actually got their start at uh, Disneyland, including another one. I just remember this one. John Lasseter. Got a start on the Jungle Cruise. Uh, <clears throat> we all know John Lasseter. You know, Toy Story, Cars, all the old Pixar movies. Pretty much all of them. Some of them. Most of them. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, wow. Uh, before I just continue on with this video. I just want to give a huge round of applause to all the past, present, and potentially the future cast members and Disney Imagineers. Uh, I want to send a personal thank you to all of them for their talent, the expertise, and just being there for people to Give them a, a wonderful experience. Um, I, I'm speechless right now. Uh, several thousand, you know? It's not just 10, 20 cast members. Several thousand. Even those behind the scenes that we don't get to see. Um, they all do a phenomenal, phenomenal job. Um... And I can't forget about the people that are the characters, that play the characters at Disneyland. The face characters and the costume characters. Oops, I probably shouldn't say that. Kids, cover your ears, but you're about to hear now. <laughs> um, okay, I'll, I used to be a mascot. Okay, I'll admit it. Yes, I was. Not at Disneyland, but another place. Oh, that place will go unnamed for now. Uh, no, okay, it was at my church. I was a mascot one of my church's mascots, and uh, did it for about 10 years. And I have to say that it was the most fun I've ever had. Although, there were points when I was the mascot that uh, <laughs> I wish I had an air conditioning system in installed into the costume. <laughs> because, um, okay, there were two characters that I could play. There was one character that had black tights, but had like a gigantic head and one 
body piece, there was another character that was like all fur. If you play a character that has a lot of fur, you're in for it. <laughs> Woo! Look out! <laughs> um, talk about sweating a lot. Um, yes. Uh, but you know what? It takes guts to play those characters and to be those characters for a long time. So for those of you guys who are doing that, for those of you who have actually met, uh, and even the cast members I've met who know me by name, thank you guys so much for your expertise and your talent and just your, you know, just being there, being yourself, basically, and being these characters that you've created. I mean, if you guys have seen my uh, Adventureland Juju Quest video, a lot of those cast members were, they were acting, of course, but they made the experience enjoyable. They made it more real. Maybe a little corny sometimes, but they made it more fun, right? That's the whole point, you know? You're supposed to be there to have fun, right? And that's what that's what makes it so fun, when they become a part of your Disneyland experience, your story, you know? Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, so for those of you who work at Disneyland or Disney California Adventure, I know uh, some of you are on Facebook that I know. Thank you so much for everything that you do there at Disneyland. Even for those of you who are behind the scenes. Um, it, it's incredible what you guys go through each and every day. I envy you guys! <laughs> but, yeah, but... I know you guys don't get this very often, but if you're a cast member or know somebody that has a cast that that is a cast member or was a former cast member, thank you for making everybody's day enjoyable because uh, it just is. It just that that's the whole point, right? You're there not only to work but also to spread the joy, the fun there at Disneyland. Um, I know that you, there are probably some of you who might be asking certain cast members, like, there there are a bunch of cast members that have been there for years, like 20 or 30 years, and you'd probably be asking the their questions like, well, why do you still work here? Like, what's the point? Like, why do you still work here, basically? You could have found some other job somewhere else. <clears throat> I think I can answer that question. And it's this. Every day is a new experience for them. Yes, it's still the same theme park. Yes, it's still the same attractions. They may close old ones and open new ones. They may, may get sent you know, in different areas of the theme park, but it's still Disneyland. It's still the same place where they work, right? But it's a new experience for them every single day. It's not the same day. Maybe the same park, but it's a new experience every day. That's what I see when I go to Disneyland. I go there for new experiences, meeting new people. That's what a cast member does every day as well. They go there. They may see familiar faces. They'll see their familiar other cast members or maybe new cast members. Of course, that's the fun of it because they always meet new cast members, right? They meet new people from around the world. They hear different stories that people tell them about Disneyland and how they've had uh, either fond memories of Disneyland past or, I, or dreams of wanting to go to Disneyland for the first time. Um, you won't believe how many stories I have heard of people from around the world where they want to go to Disneyland. And they have seen pictures, video, you know, documentaries, and just sharing what they want to express it's so incredible and <clears throat> there are a bunch of cast members that actually are seen in videos and documentaries and when people see them they will recognize them and they'll go up to them and say hey thank you so much for making this enjoyable and i think when cast members get those type of messages from people it encourages them to do more because, 
you know, if, if you get a negative comment, it doesn't make you want to do more. It makes you want to do less, and it makes you feel down, right? But if you get a great, wonderful comment from somebody, it makes you want to continue to do more. Maybe uh, expand a little more. It makes you want to do more. Um, go all out, basically. And so I think that's why the cast members also stick around for as long as they do. Yeah, it's probably a somewhat good paycheck, but I think it's just because the experience is always new every day. And that, yeah, it's the same theme park, but it's a new experience. It's a new day, and they get to meet wonderful people from around the world. It doesn't have to be celebrities. It's just normal, everyday people come in to have fun, and they get to be a part of that fun. They get to actually uh, make it fun for them by doing something fun. And when they see the people smile and say, yeah, that's awesome, then they'll say, all right, I did my job. And they'll be glad about it. There may be some that'll be like, oh, here we go again. Back to the coal mines. <laughs> Scoot over, dwarves. Let me come join you. <laughs> of course, there's a, there's a diamond mine, right? Uh, <laughs> um, but I just think that cast members that stick around at Disneyland for such a long time, I think that's the reason why. It's a new day for them. It's a brand new experience. Um, and again, for those of you who are cast members, thank you for everything, for being there. Disneyland wouldn't be the same without you guys, the cast members. Um... Yeah, wow. So anyways, uh, if I haven't said it already, I'll say it now. Happy anniversary, Disneyland. And this is right about the point where I should be ending my video. But um, I have to go over a few things with you guys because uh, I know I need to mention this. So... Um, Recently, a few days ago, my channel passed 400 subscribers. Now, for some of you, you may be thinking, oh, that's nothing compared to what some of these other people have who have millions of subscribers or hundreds of thousands of subscribers. You know what? Good for them. But I'm also glad for the 400 subscribers that have subscribed to my channel, over 400 subscribers. Um, by, the time watching, <coughs> by the time you're watching this, it's probably larger than that or maybe still 400 subscribers, but... I'm very thankful for the 400 subscribers that have subscribed to my channel. Yes, that may seem like a low count, but you know what? I actually am very thankful for each and every subscriber that has subscribed to my channel. Because it shows me that they are willing to stick around with me and join me along for the ride of making more Disneyland videos. Now, the whole point of my channel... It's not just for me, okay? I can never say that. I can never say that this channel is strictly for myself. Never said that. Never will. And because I think that's just being really prideful and arrogant, and that doesn't get me or anyone anywhere. Because uh, I want to be straight with you guys. I want to be truthful to all of you. I may have made a few mistakes, you know, in the beginning of the series. Yeah, I know. I'll admit my mistakes when I, if I make one. I won't fight anybody that says that, oh, this is, it actually is this. I'll be like, okay, yeah, all right. I'll investigate it, and if it's correct, then sure. Yeah, good for you. You got a mistake. Um, and I just want to be, you know, I don't want to do anything that w will offend anybody, that will you'll cause people to not want to watch my videos again. Um, that's why I try to make this a family-friendly channel. And I think people understand that. Um, I have I have I have had people ask me if my channel family friendly friendly. I try to keep it as family friendly as I can. Um, and I'm pretty sure for those of you who have seen my videos, yes, absolutely. Because if I have families actually coming up to me saying hello to me with kids in the like kindergarten age and up, that means that yes, it is family friendly. Um. And that means the world to me when I get those type of messages that 
families. There are whole families watching my videos. Uh, it means a lot because even though it may just be one view, you don't know how many people are watching this video on the other side of the, of the computer. Like right now, it's just me. It's just me and my camera. That actually was my original slogan. It's just me and my camera. Um, but on the other side where you guys are, I don't know how many people are watching the videos. So there could be one person, two people, three people, five people. I don't care. But if you guys are watching this video as a family, uh, I really do appreciate that. It really does mean a lot when I get the wonderful comments. It's just like being a cast member, you know? I don't actually work for Disneyland, okay? Let me just point that out. For some of you guys who think I do, I don't. I'm an independent filmmaker making YouTube videos sort of as a, like, not just like a hobby, but trying to make it as like a career. It's a slow and steady process, but it's getting better every day, and I'm thankful for that. But that's what I do. Um, in the beginning, I didn't always want to be a filmmaker. Let's just put it that way. Yeah, I know this sounds kind of weird. But yeah, when I found out about YouTube, I really wanted to make YouTube videos. And I think I started them at the right point. Um, and you know what? Again... For those of you who have subscribed to my channel, I absolutely am very grateful and thankful for you for you for you for for subscribing to my channel. I hope you stay subscribed. Uh, if you don't see videos posted every week or maybe a day goes by, don't unsubscribe because there may be something happening behind the scenes that you probably don't know about. Follow me on Twitter, you know, because I always post what's going on on Twitter. Like if I'm sick or something, or if a new video is going to be posted, or when a new video is not going to be posted. Because I do update my Twitter every once in a while, like maybe every week or so. Do you guys like updates as to when a video will be posted? Also, I have my Facebook page, the Disneyland Video Series Facebook page. Links are down below in the description of this video that you can follow. And, um, again, you know, I enjoy new subscribers as well. You know, I wish I can personally say thank you for subscribing to my channel, but of course that'd be impossible because I can't really do that. But for those of you who have subscribed to my channel, again, thank you so much. It really does mean a lot to me. And I also love getting the wonderful comments from you guys. The just, you know, even when you guys see me at Disneyland, I have actually run into a few people that actually have watched my videos at Disneyland. And it's amazing that that has happened because this whole thing with me on YouTube, you know, this stuff at Disneyland, would it be possible if I wasn't doing it on YouTube, right? Um, but you know what? I'm just, for those of you who think I'm a celebrity, I'm not. Okay? I'll never say that I will be. I've said this before and I'll say it again. I will never consider myself a celebrity. If you see me at Disneyland, you know, don't hesitate to say hello to me, but I'm not a celebrity. I'm just an ordinary guy making YouTube videos. Um, but if you guys want to label me as a celebrity, that's perfectly fine. I am fine with that, but I will not label myself as a celebrity, okay? I guess you can say you can label Lee. Like, there have been people that label me as a YouTuber. I guess I have gotten into that role of YouTubers that, uh, you know, that you can come across, like Shay Carl and I Justine Olga K. Yes, I guess since I've actually, even YouTube has recognized me as doing that sort of thing, and they actually have labeled me as an official YouTuber. So even when YouTube is, says that about me, that's actually very, very cool to actually label me with those other people that I've watched for so many years. To be in their ranks really does mean a lot. Um, so anyways, um, not to... And I don't like to be prideful, okay? If I mention something that's exciting, like... Passing a certain number of subscribers, that doesn't mean I'm prideful. Oh, look at me, I've got all these subscribers. You know, again, it's just showing my expression, my thankfulness for the people that have subscribed to my channel. And it means a lot when I pass a certain milestone or if a certain number of views goes by. Uh, it makes me excited and really means a lot because that means that you guys are watching the videos and it really makes me happy that you do. Uh, they are a lot of work, okay? Yes, I post them online, but you know what? It's hard because 
you know, I have to come up with ways on how to even create the videos. You know, I come up with a little bit of a story in my mind as to how to make it. Then I go to film it. Then I have to come home and edit the videos. Boy, that's a fun thing to do. <laughs> um, but it takes a lot of time. I would say maybe if I if I had to schedule it wise, you know, like timeline it, it would probably be like a week for maybe one video to be, you know, at least one or two videos a week. Uh, if I had a choice or, you know, like a schedule, like, like when the video, how, like it goes, when it goes from one point to the next. So, um, it does take a lot of work. It may look easy, but it is not. <laughs> I can honestly say that there are some times where it is, where it almost seems like it's impossible, but I do get through it. But, um, yeah, they are a lot of work. Uh, there have been some videos that have been almost over an hour long that do take up a lot of memory on computer but I'm glad when it's done because then I can delete the, the footage off my computer and then work on the next one I do save some footage in case something were to happen later on down the road but it does take a lot of work and I am happy when it's done because I know you guys will enjoy it and I try to keep it oh my computer just fell asleep it went to sleepy by and now I gotta wake it up Now, what's odd is that my computer actually records even while it's sleeping. There it goes. So, um, okay. Now, this week, technically, I was not really supposed to post a video. Um, <clears throat> you can probably tell I've been coughing a little bit during this vlog. Yes, I was hit with an illness. So, around the time when I started getting ill, I was actually working on some new videos. <clears throat> I'm actually starting to lose my voice right now. Um, so, around the time when I first got sick, which was like a couple weeks ago, I was working on some new videos for the Disneyland channel, and then it's like when I got super sick, I didn't use my computer at all for maybe like three to four days. Um, maybe I probably got on every once in a while to update my status as to what's going on with me, but this whole week, there wasn't supposed to be any new videos you know, to be uploaded to my channel. But I thought for today, since today is the 60, the official 60th anniversary of Disneyland, I had to do something for it. And, um, yeah, I, I had to do it. So, anyways, um, I'm predicting that maybe next week there's probably not going to be any more new videos for the next week. But in two weeks from now, I definitely will have new videos for you guys to check out. If, however, you guys are curious as to, you know, if you're like, oh, well, what should I watch? I have three new videos already posted on my second channel, Sean Films, the vlog series. Link is down below in the description of this video. If you guys have already seen my Disney Infinity videos, I, I, I mentioned on the end slate that I was going to be posting vlogs about my experience at E3. They are now available. You can go and check them out on that channel. Link is down below in the description of this video. It's the E3 Expo 2015 Day Vlogs 1, 2, and 3. Not all together, but separate. And um, they're about 20 minutes long. They're maybe over 20 minutes long, so they're a little bit long. <laughs> but you can go and watch them. You can watch them before you know I post new videos online to this channel. You can also check out my Travel Town series uh, channel. Link, is, again, is down below. And also the Educational Series channel. Um, during this time period, you know, that I haven't really been doing anything, I've also been filming some new characters, or new scenes for my new educational videos I'll be posting in September. I promised in one of my videos that, uh, there would be some new educational videos, you know, during July. I'm now gonna switch it into September because, um, I just need this time to, you know, recover and work on these new educational videos and, uh, you know, instead of posting them in July, which is not when, uh, the school season really is happening. I know there's a summer semester and all, but school technically starts up in September, so I think it'd be better if I post it in September. So, new educational videos will be posted in September, like the beginning of September. And, also happening in September, September 10th, three years of YouTube three years um yeah wow i don't know what's going to happen on that video but uh I'm, I'm going to try to plan on some good things here so 
Anyways, I think I've bored you guys long enough. Have I bored you? Yeah, I probably have. But if you've stuck around this long, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. Uh, again, happy anniversary to Disneyland. Wonderful, wonderful place. If you guys have never been to Disneyland, go and experience Disney magic. And uh, that's pretty much it. So again, next week, there's probably going to be no new videos. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm working on some new Disney videos as we speak. So come back in two weeks on Monday. There's probably going to be new videos by that time. Um, by that time, I will have fully recovered. Uh, new videos, new vlogs, maybe a new ride review or two. But uh, definitely new vlogs, new Meal Time of Disneyland episodes. And that's pretty much it. And then uh, I'm thinking I'll be at Disneyland like August 18th and 19th. I'm going to try to do two more days before my last day, August 20th. And then uh, we'll see what happens. I'm going to try to, again, to save uh, up some cash to get a new and better uh, annual pass so that I can get more dates and choices as to when I can go back to the resort you know, during my fall 2015 semester. So, again, if you were a former cast member or are a cast member right now, thank you so much for everything that you do. If you have subscribed to my channel, thank you so much for subscribing. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, just hit the subscribe button down below. It's the red button that says subscribe. It's absolutely free, no payment. All it is is just that you'll actually be able to see my videos before everybody else. And that's it. You'll actually get an email... Uh, notification on uh, uh, on your email account when my videos are posted. It shows up in a list of other videos that you've subscribed to. And <coughs> now I gotta get some rest. Gosh. All right. So thanks a lot for watching, everybody. And before I forget, happy anniversary, Disneyland. Sixty years. <laughs> Have a great day, everybody.